pissed off again. Part two of exploring women's monogamy if we are not dependent on a man um, to take care of our children. All right, so I was talking about the, the Hmong people of China, the Hmong women, and about their flower room and how um, their lovers, they can have many lovers because their brothers raise children with them and this gives them great security to not worry about finances or survival um, it, when it comes to love. Love is a separate thing. It's all about fun and connection and sexual pleasure. So the thing is though that when um, a man comes through the flower door of, of a Hmong woman's um, flower room, he is allowed there on her good graces, but the moment he leaves the door, there is no assumption that anything exists between them. There is no um, presumption that he can come back uninvited. He has to start all over again. The moment he leaves her her um, sacred space to woo her again, he must start at the beginning. Now this is huge, 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 huge uh, love medicine because I'm constantly hearing from uh, women who've just gotten married that suddenly they're treated like um, old laundry, like 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 all the queenly. Um, royalty treatment they were receiving, all the things that were being given to them that made them open their hearts and feel like being very romantic are not happening anymore and it's as if they've been won, the game is over, and they're supposed to just live the rest of their life on a shelf to be taken down when the guy's got an appetite and, and it totally doesn't work. It, it dies right then. The moment that the guy thinks he can have sex with her without having worked again to woo her favor um, is the moment she compromises her her dignity and her truth and her self-worth and her self-love. But women do this all the time. We, we, we get into this place where we're like, oh God, I guess it's all over. I guess all the love is, that was just, that was the fake part. The, the real part is the drudgery, <laughs> you know? But this society is very, very wise because it's set up so that uh, there's no presumption there, not one bit of presumption that you can have intimacy without winning her love. <sighs> All right, that's enough on this one for the moment. <laughs> Much love. Please connect with me and send me your questions. This is a uh, viewer-supported show, so I have my GoFundMe link with it. And uh, I want to encourage you to constantly win the favor of your lover. Constantly be in the game of um, winning her affection. Now, why don't women have to do the same for men? There is a lot we have to do for men. A whole lot. <laughs> but it's not quite the same, that's all. But I'll get to that, too. Don't you worry. Okay.